to DJ Premier, I, I remember the first time I heard this beat. I was a, a junior in high school. The first time I heard the Notorious Big Ready to Die album, and, and my head basically exploded. Um, like I say, DJ Premier, who we need to get on the show at some point uh, to talk about hip hop and talk about sports, definitely on the Mount Rushmore of all time great producers in, in the genre. Speaking of unbelievable, it's unbelievable to protect your own personal information. Uh, you need to call my guys down at Second Eye IT Security for your home, business, or personal office information technology needs. These consummate professionals have 20 years of both private and government sector experience managing cloud systems, firewalls, virus removal, in addition to your laptop or PC repair needs. I personally use and endorse this product to protect my family's financial and private information from the cesspool of charlatans, hackers, and scam artists on the World Wide Web. For a free consultation, go to www.second. I E Y E I T security.com or call 1 800 320 8435. Tell them that Lanche Radio sent you and receive a special discounted offer. So, we want to bring in, um, as we're new to the Phoenix market, and, and like I've stated over and over and again, it's, it's great to be on air here in Phoenix as we continue to expand our brand. Uh, we actually hoping to add a couple of affiliates to the show. Soon, uh, we have some bangers coming in for interviews. I don't want to jinx it, but some strong hip hop heads. I'm talking about nationally known multi platinum artists are going to be coming in to do the show, both in studio and uh, via call in. But I, I want to have my man. Um, when I started this thing, one of the first people that uh, was one of my earlier co hosts is Jeremy Winston, um, who's in Dayton, Ohio. He has a podcast that's part of Lanche Radio Network or kind of a defunct podcast that's part of the Lanche Radio Network called The Rubicon, where he talks about politics. Uh, so I like to have Jeremy on from time to time. We also have the Paragon Cup, which is my ripped off version of the Jim Rome smack off. Jeremy won the Paragon Cup going away last year. So he has a lot to say. So I want to bring Jeremy Winston, um, also known as Jeremy and Dayton, also known as Mr. Paragon Cup, also known as the Rubicon, to the Lance J Radio Network. What's going on, Jeremy? What's going on? Also known as the best guy, the best host, you, you the best uh, guest you can have on the radio. Show. I don't know, Ray. Ray is a, <laughs> a really great co-host. She's not she's not in the building tonight, but um, she's an she's an excellent co-host. I will say that yeah. you are probably the funniest co-host funniest. that we have. So, I'm the most. I'm the most consistent, the most sane, the most practical co-host you can right. have on here. Definitely but, not. Know. Definitely not the most humble. So we we have a lot to talk about. We don't have a we don't have a, a whole lot of time. We have a hard break coming up in about eight minutes. Let's go. But before we get into the Cavs and get into, I know you want to gloat about the Sixers and, and the Eagles and and, Vi, and the Vi, and the fighting Vice and Hemans and all of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah We've yeah, been yeah, yeah. arguing online back and forth about spades now i don't know if most of the people that listen to this show play spades but we've been arguing over which joker is the big joker and i'm saying that it's unequivocally the the spade the 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 joker that has the word guarantee on it that has to be I mean, the big that, joker that, that is that is that is that is logic for numbskulls that's logic for people who don't know how to read i mean the fact of the matter is the guarantee joker says on it it is a guarantee if a manufacturing defect is found in this deck that's what the guarantee means but don't you feel it's that it's don't you feel that it's a double entendre though because it's no, why didn't why didn't the no. manufacturer put it in fine print why did the it's manufacturer put <laughs> I'm certain the people who made this deck don't even know what a double entendre means. The fact of the matter, they're just putting, they're just putting, they're covering themselves legally because they're selling you a product, and they say if there so happens <laughs> that the two of diamonds isn't actually in the deck, that they guarantee so that, that they'll give you in the deck. So they're, they're covering gonna, themselves legally. Somebody's going to, somebody's going to sue, they, they somebody's going to sue fight. the spades company, the the card deck company, them, because this, the two of diamonds the is there. flawed. Yo, listen, Phoenix listeners, this is this is your host. This is your host who thinks that the people who made the deck of cards were thinking of only the game of spades when they made the deck of cards. You know how many games are played with this? Crazy eights, bridge, poker, 
this, they're not thinking about, oh, shoot, for those people who play spades, we're going to write guarantee so they know which is a big joker as if we're not smart enough to make a decision on our own. The fact of the matter is the guarantee has everything to do with guaranteeing that they will replace it if something is wrong. But you know what? When we say big joker, when we play, we mean literally the big joker. So for those listeners, take a, just Google it. You don't even have to take a deck of cards out. Look at which one is physically the big joker. Take out a ruler. Take out whatever you want and measure you, which joker is bigger. You, and you that's actually, what I'm saying. You actually may. I'm a person that will admit when I'm wrong, even on air, it never dawned on me because I don't play anything other than spades with a deck of cards. So you might have a point. We will revisit this later. Might? But I, but I okay. want to give you an opportunity uh, for those that, that are listening, uh, rather in Philly or listening out here in Phoenix. Jeremy lives in Ohio. Now, he's from Philadelphia, but he lives in Ohio. He has, you know, there are a lot of people in this world that, that have self-hatred towards themselves. And Jeremy really personifies one of those issues because he's more <laughs> of an Ohioan than I am, but he hates the Cavs, he hates the Buckeyes. Where right, he spent right. more time in Ohio than I spent, his children were born in Ohio where I was not, but he continues to, to rip the Cavs. So curious of your thoughts of what you've seen uh, with the Cavs and, and they're playing right now as we speak. Uh, Indiana's mounting a comeback on them. What do you feel is going on? This is a bit of a eulogy, I'll be honest with the Cavs, because the, the reality is is that I was more of a LeBron fan than so many other Ohio people. When LeBron was in the Cavs for the first time, I, I didn't care about him. I was indifferent. You know, he was just another good player to the league. When he went to Miami, I became a LeBron fan because so many people, not only in Ohio but around the country, hated on him. People burned his jersey, yeah, and I logic. hated that. I felt like brilliant there's logic. no reason to hate a player just for making a good business decision. So I was a, I was a fan of LeBron in Miami because he's one of the greatest players. And I still believe that. He came back to Ohio, and I hated him for it. I felt like you stay in Miami, you build a legacy, don't come back to Ohio just to appease your Homer fans. And so I've been hating on LeBron since, also because I felt like the city, the, the, the state of Ohio doesn't deserve, they didn't deserve a player like this because the way they burned the jerseys, the way they didn't rip Dan Gilbert in the front office for letting him go away the first time, they didn't understand how to really, how to really support a team and realize LeBron was making the best business decision. But the reality is he's 15 years in. Look, Jordan in 15 years was playing for the Wizards. Remember how that ended up for Jordan. Listen, what we're seeing right now is that the players are skipping up and down the court but, uh, past LeBron, and he's just tired. He's playing like an older player. And unfortunately, even if they squeak by the Indiana Pacers, which I doubt, I don't think they get by the Toronto, uh, the Toronto Raptors, not because LeBron isn't great, just because he's older. He's past his prime, and we have, we have to catch up to that reality. So you feel that, that, that you he, feel that he's you feel that he is past his prime. Yeah, oh yeah, I feel he's past his prime. And you take LeBron off of that team, they're not even a playoff team. Take LeBron off of the Pacers, I mean off the off the Cavs, they're not even a playoff team. So the reality is, I mean, I think they're holding on by a thread and by a dream and by a memory. And they're gonna play hard because they got LeBron on that squad. But the reality is the fact that they're struggling so hard with the Pacers tells you everything that you need to know and everything everyone else needs to know. He's going to L.A. next year, write it in the books. So you think he's going – so that was my my next question is we have about a minute and a half left. You So you kind of said you tipped, you tipped your hand. I was going to ask you where you think yeah. he's going. Do you want for him to go to the Sixers if he had an opportunity to go no. there? I do not want – we don't need LeBron because, we, number one, we don't have the cap space. Let's show up who we have. We have Embiid. We're about the future now. I mean, we have to really live – stop living in the past. Yes, LeBron is one of the greatest players to ever do it. I, I, I concede that. But we are now looking to the future. LeBron takes breaks on defense. He, he's more of looking at securing his stats and his legacy. We need to think about the next five years – you know, where teams are really hoarding talent and we need to be make sure we're ready to compete. 30 seconds. Do the Sixers represent the Eastern Conference in the finals, yes or no? Yes. Yes, I mean, I have nothing else to say. Yes, I, don't, I mean, I, I, don't, I think Toronto Raptors get, get, uh, get, get tired out or knocked off early, and I think the Sixers represent the East. All right. I think, they lose it. I think they lose to Golden State, though. Thanks a lot, Jeremy. Always a pleasure to talk to you. Jeremy Winston, a.k.a. The Rubicon, will be back on the Lance J Radio Network, NBC Sports, with Oz and Boone from the Oz and Boone Show. Uh, we're going to have a very hilarious conversation and keep it moving. NBC Radio.